I, I have a fair number of, uh, of, of VIP clients who are mm -hmm. asking me these same questions. The, the good news is that if you do what I, I do, mm -hmm. um, probably what's happening is your whole body will, will stay healthier and younger and your mm -hmm. skin is a very large organ, if not the largest. Mm -hmm. um, so you can start on the inside. You don't need to slather yourself with stuff. Yeah. Um, I don't know, you, you can judge me, I'm 51, so I haven't got a gray hair yet, um, and I don't think I've lost much either. So, you know, that's an, what we call an N of one clinical trial, not exactly helpful, but I do believe that you should start on the inside. Um, and you can apply things from the outside. There are, I mean, the, the easiest thing to do is just avoid the sun. I grew up in Australia, unfortunately, when it was fashionable to get burnt. That's gonna come back to haunt me. So avoid, avoid the sun, um, take vitamin D, that's also very good long-term for health and the skin. Mm -hmm. um, there's uh, you know, retinol, which actually does work, uh, I would say, that's something that a lot of people already know. Uh, there are creams that are purported to raise NAD levels. NAD is a molecule we work on in my lab, and that's the fuel for these sirtuins that I've talked about, these longevity genes, and actually, Actually, as we get older, the NAD levels in the skin go, go down by about twofold. So in my 50s, I'm 51, as I said, I would have roughly half the levels as I did when I was 20. So maybe you can raise the levels of NAD in the skin with a cream. Uh, instead, I, I take a, a pill that raises my NAD levels. I talk about it in the book, page 304, if you want to learn all that stuff. Um, I think it's possible to slow aging in the skin, um, you know, and then it if that doesn't work, there's always uh, the other cosmetic stuff. But, uh, you know, I think you want to start early in life. You know, once you're in your 30s, when I, when I started, it's a long-term program. You cannot expect to start at 45 and instantly reverse the effects. Yeah, I, I think it's got legs as a scientist. I tried to extend the lifespan of nematode worms with this red light in my lab. It didn't work, but I haven't given up, given up on it yet. Um, I think there's something to the red light therapy. There's some reasonable data on, uh, what is it, hair growth uh, from this. So probably there's something going on, but it's really not well studied. We need a lot more. Uh, I've seen that you can buy these red lights. Um, someone even sent me one, to be honest. I haven't used it much. But uh, I think that there's, there's good reason to think that certain wavelengths could trigger your body into a hormesis effect. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, I, I think well, where I stand on that is we need more research, but I doubt that it's doing harm. Uh, don't stay in the sun long enough for there to be irreversible damage. So okay. a little bit of sunlight is good. I'm, I walk out, I haven't been out that much because it's middle of winter here in Boston. Mm -hmm. But yeah, some sunshine is fine, but, but don't do it for you know, more. It depends on the UV, but I would these days because I'm, you know, pasty as much as a, you know, a vampire would be. I would. I don't want to spend more than half an hour out there in the sun, that's enough. But think of it as a competition between DNA damage. What's happening with the sunlight is your DNA gets cross-linked and your body has to come in and take out those cross-links and put a new piece of DNA in. And your body takes time to do that. And the older you get, the worse it gets, the, the slower it is. And it's a balance of damage, repair, damage, repair. And if you don't repair it, you get mutations and epigenetic changes too, don't forget. Mm -hmm. So uh, what I like to do is I, you know, get a bit of sun, it's healthy for sure. You get a bit of a, a tanning effect too. But if you stay red, you've overdone it. Uh, your body right. can't cope and it's got inflammation. So yeah, limit it. But you know, I, I wasn't trying to say live in your basement for the rest of your life. I'm eager to get out. This uh, pandemic has been pretty uh, harsh on, on yeah, myself yeah. and all of us.